Welcome back to Ohana Comics, everybody. We're going to be doing our reaction video of Book of Boba Fett for episode one, season, uh, sorry, season one, episode two. I'm Rich. I'm Greg. And we are, Greg has not watched this series before. I haven't watched Peacemaker, which we are also recording. And we're just going to bounce them back and forth and see each other's reactions. Um, yeah, we were just uh, talking a minute ago about, you know, trying to get our voices ready and linguist but let's be honest we're youtube streamers we just try to make sure before we sit down that yeah i don't have to take a dump i took a leak le uh, you know recently uh i got a drink yep i'm good i'm good <laughs> yeah we're good got popcorn still stuck in my teeth oh, i'm good <laughs> it's not the worst getting a haul between like your molars i still haven't picked up popcorn <laughs> i've had okay. a whole pot stuck in there for two years you know those I'm little uh, birds that the crocodiles use? You might want to get one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got our stream ready to go. Um, do a little recap on episode one. Uh, you got, uh, we're going to be trying to do notes. Oh. <laughs> like we forgot to do last time. <laughs> complete, yeah. complete empty paper. Yeah. Um, again, I've seen this before. Greg has not. Um, we had Boba Fett coming out of the Sarlacc pit, having his armor stripped by the Jawas. Uh, turns out that that was, and then grabbed by the Tusken Raiders. Yeah. And then waking up in his back to tank, it turns out that the uh, back to tank, he goes to sleep and he has flashbacks about how everything transpired in the past. He's now in charge of uh, Boba's palace and um, taking. Um, Let's just say proper donations, tributes from different groups. The mayor asked for a tribute from him, which didn't go over too well. Uh, he went to, um, oh, God, I can't remember what her name is. The one that Jennifer Beals Twilight, plays inside pink, the casino. Skin color, yeah. Human skin color Twilight. Yep. Uh, inside the casino. And as soon as he got out, came out, he got jumped. And thankfully, his Gamorrean guards uh, came to his rescue. And Fennec went and grabbed one of those uh, assassins. The rest of them didn't make it. And Bobo went back into his back to tank. Back to pod. Yeah. I remembered. Yeah, I remembered. Pod. And we will... Tank. Yeah. If it's at an angle, it's a... Pank. A pank. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Todd. <laughs> or a Todd. <laughs> yes. Todd, Todd's at an angle. Feet up, Todd. Head up, Is that an pank. angle? Hmm. <laughs> so we're ready to get going sir let's do it all right An aerial view yeah nice <laughs> dramatic music playing not music playing just dramatic music yeah That does not look CGI. That looks like somebody actually took the time to build a real door. <laughs> oh, I'm, I think it is. I need a really, really big piece of styrofoam. <laughs> All right. So she's bringing the one she caught. What were your orders? <laughs> speak, prisoner. I can't. I have the corona. <laughs> well, he's not going to speak. <laughs> No longer needs us. <gasps> he wouldn't say that. He did. Life, after you tried to take mine, and you curse me. What do we know of this prisoner? He is of the Order of the Night Wind. Assassin for hire. Very expensive. Overpriced. You're paying for the name. The like a Harley. Amen, brother. I know of their reputation. They're just people in hoods. There is no way he will talk. They fear no man. Fine. Perhaps he fears the rancor. Oh! He's still here! <laughs> I didn't know. 
Big difference between getting losing your head and being eaten alive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this whole part right here of anxiety. Watch him come out with like a cane and like a white goatee. <laughs> I'm so old now. I was sent by the mayor. The mayor sent me. Hurry up. It's empty. Ah. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's the best. <laughs> Shall we visit the mayor? Oh. Dum, dum, dum. The tribes of Tatooine. I live in the suburbs. <laughs> right. Outside of the pit. <laughs> Damn, you just walking your prisoner through the street like that? Ugh, I hate their eyes. <laughs> Ugh. Did a good job with the blinking on that. Yeah, though. it was very uh, crocodilian. Yep. Looks like somebody did a burnout on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> it did look like, really it wide did look like a tire tread. Oh. Okay. I'm Boba Fett. I'm here to see the mayor. Oh. No, no, I blow English. <laughs> um, do you have an appointment? I found one of his stray pets. I'm here to return it to its master. Well, I don't see your name in the schedule, so you'll have to... Um... Oh! Pardon the lack of pomp for your entrance. However, I did not see your litter arrive. We don't do litters, buddy. Buster. Nevertheless, we are both honored <laughs> and delighted by your serendipitous visit. I did throw a couple of candy wrappers on on your front lawn. I mean, is that... <laughs> the mayor's uh, bubblegum wrappers. Uh, throwback to the uh, Moon Knight episode. This, this area here is restricted. For... Nope, you're not... Sir, if you would be so kind as to apologies for the intrusion. Oh, it's one of those goods. <laughs> who is this who enters unannounced? You know damn well who. It is the new daimyo Boba Fett. Boba mother. You do not know who I am, then why did you send this man to assassinate me? I can assure you, the mayor had nothing to do with He's a member of the Order of the Night Wind. Ah, then you admit it. Yeah, he's got Beskar, you'd better not. Outside of Hut Space. Thank you for turning him in. Give this man his reward. I am not a bounty hunter. Is that so? I've heard otherwise. I'm retired. <laughs> I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. As if Fortuna was not my employer. It was Jabba the Hutt's throne. Yes, and now it is mine. <laughs> and I will take this payment as what you should have brought me as tribute. Is he like glaring at him with those weird eyes? You should remember, we serve as long as the Daimo of Tatooine deem it so. Before you threaten me, you should ask yourself who really sent the night wind? I have no motive. As you said, I serve at your pleasure. I am not a fool, Mokjais. Those who thought otherwise no longer draw breath. Here is the tribute I offer. Some advice. Running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. Is that it? Go to Garza's sanctuary. You'll see what I speak of. 
That's the casino. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I love the music in this place, man. We're two for two now. Back, Shrebo! Uh, the guy is back. Excuse me. See if I can free up a table for you. Would you care to have a beverage while I sort this out? What's going on here? In what respect? Mayor Mokshai sent me here as though there's something I should know. Now you're sweating like a gumped on Mustafa. You haven't heard. <laughs> Mustafa is hot. <laughs> heard what? The twins have laid claim to their late cousin's bequest. The twins are preoccupied with the debauchery of Hatta. I'm watching you more than the show, so. <laughs> what? Oh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh. Watch my back. Yeah, they're not gonna walk down this tree without looking up this time. Oh, litter. Is that what they call it? Oh no. <laughs> wow. That's a job I wouldn't want. <laughs> I, was I was gonna say I'm surprised they're uh, carrying them. I love how it's bowing. Tablet says, This is Mos Espa, and I am Daimyo here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hound from Game of Thrones? Ah, uh, this is what everybody. Okay. Black Chrysanthemum. Yeah. Wookie Bounty Hunter. As many gladiators as you wish. Which he was a gladiator. This territory is mine. Go back to Nalhata. That's right. I'm not gonna eat this thing. I'm just. His little thing is biting on his finger. We need a t we need a tumbleweed going between them. <laughs> exactly. Wow! You have to kill me for it. I probably just gave us a copyright strike by whistling that too. <laughs> He'll be editing it. And I'll be going. <laughs> Yeah, when we're not in the gunfire range. Sleep lightly, bounty hunter. I think you guys carried it like, please shoot him, please! All right. We came all the way here to do nothing. And now we gotta walk all the way back. Ooh, he's creepy.
is one of the comic book uh, issues that he and Chewbacca fight to a standstill. There. Oh, that's it. I don't know if that's the book, that but, it? but this is uh, Black Chrysanthemum. Cr- yeah. That uh, Darth Vader number one I got with the eight point five. That was his first appearance. Right. They're huts. We would have to get permission if you want to kill them. They're made men. Maybe it's settled. <laughs> you really think so? No. Now back to the casino. Oh, back to the back to pod. Back to the pod. <laughs> I'm going back to my pod. <laughs> Machine pulsing Pulse. and hissing. <laughs> I was just going to read that. Machine <laughs> pulsing and hissing. Oh, yeah, we have this whole previous story. I love how it comes in like grainy, really, really grainy, and then clears up. Makes me wonder if there's something wrong with my monitor. Yeah. I assume that's how he sees it when it's grainy. But it would make for very bad television if it remained that way for us. (laughs) I am holding it the same. No, you're not. Go get it. All right, all right. Watch your back, mate. It's never stated, but that's a female. Show me. The fighter? Yep. How do you know this? Somebody told me. (laughs) Oh, okay. Are you ready for step two? This is so like Last Samurai. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. I feel bad because you keep referencing it. <laughs> they were combing the desert. <laughs> Comb the desert! <laughs> what the hell is that? Dinner. <laughs> oh, I suppose. Yep. Huh. <laughs> it's time to take up arms. Here come some pod racers. Got to shoot them. Whoa. Poor Bantha. trains across the old west of the United States used to do that to the Indians just for sharpshooting. <laughs> Native Americans, yes. Uh, yep. I, uh, what did I say? Indians. I, th- I think that was the kid that he saved. Oh. Uh... And there goes the biker gang. <laughs> this was the gang that wrote the JL on the moisture farm? Yeah, Justice League. There you right. go. <laughs> I think I saw a guy with uh, bat ears. Yeah, no way. I want to talk to them. I was 
stop the train. I will stop them. I will take rifle. Yeah, all right, give him a rifle and a stick. Hey, what do you got to lose? Look at these guys laughing, yucking it up. Now, now I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay. This is Tashi Station. This is where Luke was said he was going to go. Okay, yeah. In the original Star Wars. And in a cut season scene, he was going to meet his friends. And that's the two humans that are sitting there on the right. Oh. So they're actually paying homage to the original 1977 Star Wars here. Cool. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that. Because it's better if you actually see this scene while I'm talking about it than putting it in the notes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, at least they pay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 1970s video games. All right. Pong. Pong. <laughs> oh, well, you can't. Nachos. You can't do that. Bro. Can you pay me now? They really are like You're a biker gang. They got their uh, jackets with logos too. I said you look very horny to me. Boba, please. <laughs> yeah, boy. You don't quite look as intimidating without the armor. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh. Is, is that like Sarlacc drool? <laughs> Damn, I broke my gun. Now I can use my stick. Well, he's got that's the, why I brought got two the, weapons. The crazy eyes on right now. Yeah. I hope that's where that species has those parts. <laughs> I would assume they are based on his reaction. Well, in uh, Men in Black too, they had the Balchinians. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now I'm gonna drink your drink. Yep, I feel better. All that for a glass of water. So much easier than the Tuscans, huh? Oh, a glass of water out there. Probably worth a lot more. This is like the scene in Terminator 2 in the beginning. After he beats up everybody, he takes a bike. Mm, kinda. <laughs> Takes all the bikes, okay? There you go. <laughs> I was like, really? I really thought it was very similar, but I get it now. <laughs> hey, I found one too. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's me. It's me. The bikers are coming. Shoot him. <laughs> Signal them with your bald head. Shine. Hold your fire. <laughs> it, it's burnt, boy. <laughs> BB.
No! Well, they're not mine. They're not yours. You just gave it to the chief. No, they're not. You just gave it to the chief. How to ride? I will teach you. This is how we will start. We've never ridden anything that goes more than one mile per hour. Right. So is that a yes or? Okay. This makes it go. This makes it stop. <laughs> go, stop. Like a bantha. Yes. That's a meme. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, who wants to go first? Sit. Okay, go. Stop. Yeah, let's start with two miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Driver's head, <dead>, Boba. <laughs> yeah, they're like in a parking lot with the cones doing figure eights in a motorcycle. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I was pretty. I was kind of close. Yeah, I got it. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> How he fell off, I don't know. The chief's like, "Yeah, I'm cool." Uh, I don't know how he's <laughs> holding on. He's a chief. He don't need to or... hold on. He know he's cool. Now stay this time. <laughs> so this is what it's like when you put stuff together. Uh, yeah. If we can find dinner again. <laughs> I love this. I keep thinking those are like shower heads. <laughs> She's such a badass. Wow. <laughs> oh, instead of a smack. You get a hand this time. I got it out of her hand. She just rolls and catches it before it hits the ground. <laughs> We're up, boys. We're up. <laughs> I think that's the little kid. That, it, that initially he interacted with. I honestly don't know. It's the way he carried him to the fire, the first one. I didn't know if it was just a random Tuscan or a random child or the child himself. Yeah, boys. We go rob a train. Yeehaw! Okay, you, not another. Bantha. You guys need to put your banthas away. 
when you need to get a skinnier animal. <laughs> yeah. I just can't believe that an animal would evolve on a double sunned planet with that much fur. <laughs> Well, it's not a pod racer, but we can shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Those are good. They're good. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's insane accuracy. At that speed? Yeah. That works, too. Oh, 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 oh. Do they? Okay. I was like. He's really liking his gaffy. Yeah, stick. he's <laughs> taking a shine to it. That's how we know he got so good uh, for the Mandalorian. Makes sense. Oh yeah. Is this the the fighter <laughs> trainer? Yeah, okay. Yep. It's just like, uh I don't care. I'm uh What the hell was that? Oh boy. <laughs> I love her. I really want to run into the engine, though. <laughs> uh. This is where they keep getting all the Banthas. Yeah. Not the way. I got things to do. <laughs> Stop the train. He said he would. Hey, all right. The Pikes. Pike Syndicate. He's practicing his throne sitting. Have we seen these people before? Pike Syndicate. Yeah, where, where have we seen them? Star Wars Clone Wars. Sorry, <laughs> you asked. I'm just kidding. 
another syndicate like the Huts. Like that. I was hoping for you to say that. This is not looking good for you. That's way more generous than I thought he was going to be. This series sucks. <laughs> oh, this water car? Dude, put the fuck oh, back Oh, you guys. Thank you. My people haven't showered in months. My people haven't <laughs> showered. It's full stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Ew. I think I swallowed it. It's a tricky little bug. It's like a COVID test. Yeah. What? <laughs> Ugh. Freaky. Their dead stare. You're playing Pink Floyd music or something like that. Yeah, well, right now, sinister music is playing according to the close caption. Not Mr. No, 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 no. Although, I hope. At some point. And you thought you looked burnt before. <laughs> His little buddy's happy to see him. Like, damn. I thought we got rid of him when we dropped him out in the middle of the desert. With a lizard in his nose. <laughs> Just won't leave us alone. Uh... You know, anger hit is that way if you follow the high sun. <laughs> I'll give you six melons. You know what? Daddy! I thought he was part of the tree. Ooh, I don't know. Could be the willies, man. Did you at any point in your life think that you were ever going to have respect and interest in Tuscan Raiders? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they were always like the like <sighs> alright they had to include him in this just cause it's part of the lore whatever the most interesting thing about them to me ever was just that learning about how in the first Star Wars the footage was like reversed and put again and reversed and put again when we first meet them Darth Fett? <laughs> nope, still bald. Oh, okay. Shoo. Will you be my daddy? There's long periods of no commentary because I'm just absorbing everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, they're not... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that supposed to be the shape of the lizard house? I assume. No. making his own no more training mm -hmm. stick Okay, so yeah, I, I I liked this episode a lot. Uh, I don't, what are your feelings on it? Oh, it was great. I I don't know what, unless something crazy happens. I mean, I'm sure crazy things are going to happen in the next episodes. But I really like this series so far, and I'm only two episodes in. But I think there's seven episodes. It's an odd yeah. number, but which literally seven is an odd number. But <laughs> yeah, um, but I love this episode. It was great, um, and I took I took a handful of notes actually. All right, well, let's get discussion. I've only got two things, but I want to hear you you first because this is your first time seeing this. Okay. My first thing that I came across that made me write something down was the like uh, admin assistant at the mayor's office with the mustache mm -hmm. and the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> I was like this. Like a bellhop or something. This guy, <laughs> or, like, you know, the guy that you would see in a hotel uh, behind the desk. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It kind of took me out of it, out of like the Star Wars universe a little bit. He just didn't seem, I don't know. It just it seemed out of place. But at the same time, it was funny. Like, it, it brought some comedy. Right. Um, well, I think that right there is one of the things that people didn't want to see so much of in. Boba Fett. Um, okay. Boba Fett's been a fan favorite badass for 40, over 40 years. Right. And to see, you know, writing you know, like a panther. Huh, huh. I think that, that that is already starting to tick off some of the, you know. Yeah. Boba, yeah. Fett, could, Boba Fett could be Batman, people. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. They, they want to keep him, like, just, like, as stoic as that possibly could be because that, that fits into yeah. what their uh, character is of him in their heads. Which, I mean, even if you saw him, what you saw of him in uh, The Mandalorian Season 2, there was no comedy with him. Yeah. You know? It was, uh, I'm not talking about your armor. I'm talking about my armor. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. He's the one that, you know, Mandalor Mando and Fennec were both being overrun by the guards and, I mean, by the guards, the, uh, the stormtroopers. Then Boba shows up, and he chases him back to the ship. They, they start fleeing from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, that makes sense that it challenges most people's predetermined picture of what Boba Fett is. Right. Um, the second thing, this is like a really technical nitpicky thing. Um, the mayor himself, Shock Maiz, I think his name was. Mok Shaiz. Yeah. You were close. Transpose it. Um, I've definitely seen that like species before in like yes. video games and all kinds of whatever. Um, I don't think I've ever seen like a translator built into like an alien like that before. And I think, I think, I think that's Robert Rodriguez's voice. 
Oh, okay. Did he direct this? Does he direct all the episodes? He didn't direct this episode. Okay. No. Um, but he does. He does direct a few. Yeah, I know. He did the first one for sure. That's fun. Right. That's cool. Um, I'd have to go. I mean, I know it's somebody, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, like seventy percent sure that it's Robert Rodriguez that I'm thinking of. Nice. But okay. Well, that's cool. Here, if I'm wrong, I, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, so, the big thing that jumped out at me at this episode was um, there were so many. Let me preface this by saying I'm not native. Um, but I work for a company that has a lot of native people in it. And I've learned a lot over the past six years working there about native mm -hmm. cultures and stuff like that. Um, and a coworker of mine, I was telling him we were watching this show and he is, he is native and he's about my age. I think he's around native American. Sorry. Native, native American. American. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think he's around my age, 30, 35, 40, something like that. And uh, he was like, what do you think about the, how it like compares to like, you know, sort of a native, native American struggle type situation. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I've only seen the first episode. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you're, as you're going through the episodes. And it was like so blatantly apparent to me in this episode that there are so many parallels to like, just the, the struggle that um, native people have had here, especially like, you know, clearly like you mentioned, like with the, the train coming through and they were just shooting them for sport. They say they say mm -hmm. they were shooting it to protect them. But like, what what are they going to do to their to their like steel train or whatever? Yeah. Um, so there was that. Um, and like uh, Boba Fett teaching them how to like quote unquote ride a horse like like horses mm -hmm. weren't here you know initially no the french brought them well yeah the french also taught the indians how to scalp you know the indians that wasn't an indian thing the the, in, the french would scalp the indians and then native, the indians started native. doing it native american indians <laughs> and he definitely had like a vision quest yes uh, with the not a, no peyote involved in that right, but but you know just the the powder and the the lizard in the in the brain that was that, that yeah that, which a lot of people said that that was that was right when they were starting to do covid testing and they were like scraping the bottom of your brain with those uh swabs yeah yeah, yeah. And everybody's like oh they're making fun of covid testing i doubt <laughs> it <laughs> but well when the episode came out everybody was saying yeah that. um and then i noticed even the you're not going to hear it because i'm going to get a copyright claim if i don't edit it out but the music at some points um definitely had uh at least what i would call a native american inspired flutes and drum drums mm -hmm. and stuff like that so that was yep. it, it, they were really really nailing that point home uh on this episode um and then i just had one question um sure. did i understand them right when they when they said they were talking like in the tent at and one evening and they were like there are different bands of Tuscan people, mm -hmm. and they decided to be more peaceful and in the desert, whereas others tended to be more like raider-like. This is uh, your last of your notes. Yes. This brings me to the first of mine. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> what a so, segue. So, um, Tatooine, as per the books and all the uh, extra writings that have gone on. Used to be a water world, very similar to Camino. Oh, the entire planet was covered with with water, but uh, off worlders, um, wars, fighting, uh, the, the waters all dried up. Now the question was: Were the waters taken to other planets, or did they all go beneath the surface? And that's why they farm for water, and they have wa uh, moisture farmers. Oh, yeah. um, but the Tuscans, when the when the the Dune Sea. When the oceans dried up, they became nomads. Some became recluse and some became warlike. Some were very peaceful and some were more um, known for being more um, aggressive. Right. <laughs> okay, that's so. interesting. So, like, I guess the, the the first introduction we have ever in the first movie with old Alec Guinness, uh, Obi-Wan, that's definitely, like, a different 
band than the ones we have in this episode, probably. I don't know because the ones now this I don't know. Um, the Tuscan Raiders that are there lay claim to the Dune Sea. Okay. The Dune Sea is apparently in the neighborhood of Anchorhead and Tashi Station where Luke was going to go. Oh, true. So was this maybe a generation earlier? Was this, uh, you know, are there multiple Tuscans in the Dune Sea and just this particular tribe in this area? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Uh, and it, it's very possible that this could be the same tribe from an earlier generation. Um the only, one of the only re- another reason I'm asking that is because they I feel like they were more in like the canyons and rocks and we didn't see a lot of that with this with these guys so far at least so right. I don't know um, and the train when it was coming uh, out of the distance ever uh, originally everybody that had watched the Mandalorian season two um, thought that that was a crate dragon. Which is the one thing that the Tuscans really feared. Oh, it looks like a yeah, giant yeah, yeah. Uh, dune slug, but it's called a crate dragon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Which the crate dragon is the sounds that old Obi Wan used to scare away the Tuscan Raiders in the original Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> everything ties together. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Filoni, Favro, and Fahi. <laughs> <laughs> Some Lucas guy. I don't know. <laughs> Um, the other thing which is kind of cool is Tamora Morrison is, um, he's from New Zealand. Right. Um, there is a warrior dance that they do in New Zealand called the Haka. I've seen it. That is what he has, that the, the, the Tuscan Raiders do at the end of that episode. They do it to kind of like, hey, yo, New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. They had everybody in the in all the Tuscan Raiders and everything. They learned the haka to do that at the end. Oh, that's badass! That's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool dance too. Uh, you should look it up on YouTube. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you guys, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, well, yeah. Besides me, you, you guys can see it. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. You're talking to. Uh, am them. I talking to you? I tell you, you're not talking to me. You can't be talking to me. <laughs> Are you talking to me? So, yeah, so overall, um, I guess you say that you're enjoying the series. Uh, Again, if you go into the series with the expectations of it being the best series ever, you've got nowhere to go. It's either going to meet your expectations or let you down. Just go in and have go in and have an open mind to just enjoy what you watch. I think you'll, you know, you're going to walk away from Boba Fett going, that was was pretty good. (laughs) Yeah. And anything to fill. Okay, I'll put it this way. Wherever there are gaps in lore and time, it's especially with like Star Wars, it's like ripe to tell a story. I feel like mm-hmm. so you might as well because it's like printing cash for Disney. Now, who was it that you asked me? Oh, the the, uh, the Pike Syndicate. Oh yeah. Uh, so yes, now I'm talking to the audience. Uh, have you seen Boba Fett already? And he didn't know. Uh, the Pike Syndicate. You know who he's going to be asking me about later, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> and we got the whole the, the huts back in town. We didn't even talk about that. Correct. Yes, they've got the twins, which are uh, the cousins, I think, of Boba. Jabba? That came to... Uh, yeah, Jabba, Boba. Yeah. <laughs> That one is definitely the correct one. Yeah. Just, imagine if they were the cousins of Jabba. <laughs> oh, um, you go back to mother and tell her I'm keeping this planet. <laughs> uh, they're there to lay their claim to Jabba's. Uh, I just don't understand why they weren't there when Jabba died to take it back from um, Bib Fortuna. So, well, I understand now. I'm just saying at that time when I first saw the episode, I didn't understand. But anyway, <laughs> I almost said we'll find. Maybe we'll find out, or time will tell, or some other ambiguous statement like that. Yes. <laughs> so, um, without giving any spoilers, guys, throw your comments in. Uh, t- uh, tell him things that he's got to keep an eye out for, or uh, what your f- feelings were when you first watched it. 
I was keeping an eye out. Sorry. <laughs> I, I know. You sure you didn't watch this already? You, you got the... Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, there's nothing to do with eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> Good. Eyes are gross. Unless it's one of those things that comes out from the... Uh, you know, when you ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I could get one of those from my front door. <laughs> uh, you would never have any... <laughs> you would only have people knock once and then they would never come back, which is great. Oh, man. I would... I'd have to have the, the camera for when, like, the Girl Scout cookie sales girls come yeah. around. <laughs> That would be fun. What happened? Uh, nothing, but we got about 18 packages of cookies on the front porch And now. a free radio flyer <laughs> wagon. <laughs> yeah, right? And the cops. And an angry mother. <laughs> and a father with a gun. And I'm not going to the door. <laughs> uh. So let's, let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, guys, thanks for joining yet again. Um, Stick it around with us. I, hope, I don't even know if this is like the first time that you guys have uh, watched it. What other series on uh, Disney Plus or HBO or wherever do you think that we need to uh, get our reactions to? I'd love to know, you know, your votes for what you would like us to watch. I mean, I'm even thinking about trying to get into some movies once in a while. We'll see. But I want to. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Or, or um, you know, I don't know if you're into like anime or other adult cartoons, or if those are off limits or not. Uh, I wouldn't say off limits, but I've never been a tremendous anime fan. Of course, there are things that um, I have to give total respect to, like Howl's Moving Castle and um, yeah, you know those. But, but I mean, some of the cartoons, like um, was it One Punch Man and uh, Dragon Ball Z? I've never watched any of those. Well, that's two hundred seventy-six episodes out of, of Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Uh, if we're going to spend time with 200 episodes, we're going to watch Clone Wars and Rebels. Fair. <laughs> There's just way too much in that that are, is coming to light. Um, oh, boy. We get to episode six. Oh, boy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Everybody that's actually seen this already is going, yep. <laughs> this guy. But, yeah. Well, I think you're really good. Epi- uh, my favorite episode of all of both of the both hits was episode three oh, okay so the so well and it's got some high points and some low points low points in the middle really good high points towards the end so <laughs> that's something to look forward um to. i look forward to seeing your reactions to it as well um guys gonna wrap this up thanks for joining yet again don't forget to like and subscribe and he's got thankfully greg has a much better and um little animation for a like and subscribe that i have i still have that can tell I haven't made anything new. It's going to be right. <laughs> it's going to be below us, actually. Down. <laughs> Down. Yeah. Whoa, watch out. Yeah. Down there. Click on that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smash that like button. Okay? Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> Very gentle. Trying to get together again. We're going to turn this off before we get really uh, over the top. <laughs> Thanks for joining yet again. Mahalo.